Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing an ultimate haul. We are doing a Zara versus Mango haul. So if you wanna see my thoughts on each of these brands and what I picked up from them, what they have in store at the moment, keep on watching. So a little bit of a backstory on my relationship with both of the brands. Zara, I buy from repeatedly, as you guys will know if you're already subscribed to my channel. Whereas Mango, I shop on maybe a couple of times a year. I buy less, but the things that I have from them, you guys will know, I wear all the time and year in year out and they stay in my wardrobe for really long periods of time. Zara do also have that effect for me, there are pieces from them that I buy that I have for years and years and years. But I do find with Mango every single item that I keep without a doubt stays in my wardrobe for years and years and years. So with that in mind and the fact that I think I've bought like similar groups of items, I'm really excited to see who comes out on top in this haul. So I'm going to start with Mango first because Zara gets featured on this channel all the time. I am so excited to try this on. Number one thing I will say is obviously everything from Mango comes in plastic packaging, which is kind of annoying. Whereas Zara, you get one cardboard box, the items are wrapped in paper and then nothing is ever in plastic. And I love, love, love Zara for that. So the first item I picked up is actually the one that I'm most excited about. And I have a similar version from Zara in this box here. This is a style of jacket that I've been super excited to wear this autumn. The one from Mango is actually in the colors that I wanted, whereas the Zara one isn't. But I'm interested to see how the fit and the feel really differ. I got it in a size XS to S. I think it's gonna have like a little bit of an oversized feel to it, which will be really, really nice. I actually don't know if I'm gonna prefer the Zara one now that I'm seeing this one in front of me. So on that note, I will show you the jacket that I got from Zara just so you can compare. This is the jacket that I got from Zara. For a neutral loving girl, I'm kind of leaning towards this. I will pop what they're made out of if I can on screen because I can't remember and I don't want to like spend a year here. The Zara jacket I got in a size M and it was 49 99. This one I got in an M because it looked like it had a much more like regular fit to it and I definitely wanted this to be more oversized so I'm interested to try both of them on and see which one I prefer. Having them both next to me I think I would say I prefer the feel of the Zara one just a little bit better. We'll see. We'll see. Hmm. I'm interested. So jacket number one, I actually held this up to myself literally just before I put it on and I was like for a second, for a second I was like Ooh, actually, I think this one might be the one. This feels promising, but actually, now that it's on, I am not so sure. I feel like I don't look good with pattern on. I think it might be a bit busy for me. I am not sure. Maybe it's just this jacket that I'm not vibing with. We'll see how I get on with the other one. I have to say, the way I envisioned myself wearing these jackets this autumn winter was with like a beanie hat on and longer hair. Things change. <laughs> Things have changed. So maybe this just isn't gonna work, but actually I like the length of this. I'm really, really happy with the length of this one. I think it could be a really cool one to throw on over like midi dresses and things like that. I'm thinking maybe this outfit just isn't the one for this, but it is very oversized. I also don't love the material and I know I said that earlier, but it feels very, very scratchy. I think if I was to have like a jumper on underneath or a long sleeve body, it would be fine, but I can still kind of feel it around my neck and I don't love that. It's not love, so I definitely won't be keeping it, but we'll see how it compares. So this one, I think I might prefer, but if I'm honest, I can't figure out what it is that I prefer about this. Wait, do I? I can't tell if I prefer this one or not. I definitely think this pattern is just too busy for me. I'm not loving it. I'm not loving it. To be honest, I always struggle with like collars anyway. Maybe something a little bit more plain would work better for me. I would definitely say this one is actually more itchy than the mango one, which I'm surprised by because to pick up in my hands, this one felt nicer, but actually now it's on my skin, it's itchy around my neck and around my arms, kind of around the underarm and the crease of my arm. I do think that the color is better than the black and white. I don't know why, I prefer it. It's a little bit softer and I prefer the length of this, I think, weirdly, even though I really liked the length of the mango one. I think ultimately the fits of both are very different. This one is definitely more boxy and the other one I think is a bit more oversized, like even the sleeves felt like there was more room to move about. I do think it's cool though. Like I think I definitely prefer the color on this one. Mm. I like it the more I'm looking at it, but I actually just don't think it's for me. I think had I not just had a very big change of hair, I might feel differently. This could also maybe look cool if I put my hair 
in a low bun with some big sunnies what do we think maybe that is the vibe i'd love to know in the comments what do you think do you like it do you hate it i feel like this is going to be a very marmite item of clothing so whilst we are on the similar items between brands both brands had cute little like silky numbers which i've really been looking for for like wearing around the house mango definitely won in terms of having like a cute cohort zara had a few but not necessarily along the same vein whereas i wanted something that was a little bit silky and had a bit of a pattern something kind of like I want to use the word funky but i hate the word funky so what what word is there for that so as you can see mango have a more neutral little patterned one i'm not even sure what that pattern is it's kind of like a weird little floral symbol not too dissimilar to the one on the zara shirt the zara shirt already feels nicer and i think even though it didn't come as a cold i would have loved this with a matching pair of trousers it would have literally made my day slash year oh I love it. I think even though it doesn't come with a pair of trousers to go with it, would have been very cute. It will work so, so nicely, maybe tucked into like leather trousers going into autumn or even a little pair of denim shorts like in the summer, that kind of thing. Or even like black tailored shorts, I think could look cute. My white linen shorts. Basically, I feel like this is slightly more versatile than this. The material of this is thicker and it almost feels like a little bit cheaper and stiffer. I'm not so in love with this actually but we will see once i've tried them on however as far as loungewear like pants go i do love the patterning on the bottom of this this is just really cute so we'll see how i get on with both of them but for me the way this feels and the way it kind of like moves i already feel like this might be the one that i'm going to prefer oh and i got both of these in a size medium i feel like this is going to be the more oversized of the two but we'll see i really love this shirt i think that this is so cool i used to have a zara play suit back in the day that was like a dusky grey dark bluey color and it had like a very similar pattern to this and i lived in it i will try and find it because i actually think that there's an outfit of the day and a load of vlog photos of me wearing it but there's definitely an outfit of the day on my youtube channel and this really reminds me of that it's a really nice throwback to that i miss that play suit it actually didn't fit me anymore but it would now and i wish that i hadn't got rid of it because it was such a cute play suit i did used to get the are you wearing your pajamas comment all the time when i wore it but i feel like you can get away with it if it's just the shirt i paired it with my zara leather travel trousers and a pair of sliders and I think it really works I love the color of this as well it's just like the perfect color for me so yeah this one is definitely a winner it would look so cute with shorts in the summer as well yeah I love it it's just a really nice easy autumn outfit do not take a shot every time I say a really nice easy autumn piece or autumn outfit because I feel like that is going to be what I say throughout this whole video because that's definitely my focus right now my brain is definitely on it it's been a really weird time to look at websites and kind of like look at clothes because it's that weird in between time but this is one of those perfect in between outfits I would say you've still got the summer footwear you've got the autumn trousers and like a summery autumn top okay so this has actually surprised me i think if i was taller i would live for wearing this when i'm around the house however it is so long <laughs> so long on me and i can't really minus point them for my height issues because those are my own my own problems but it definitely will prevent me from keeping these but the question i'm asking myself is would i keep these if they did fit me well and to be honest i think i would still keep the zara silk shirt out of all of them so i think they definitely win in this aspect but this is so much cuter than i thought it was going to be it's like a really lovely around the house kind of like loungewear set that's not your typical like trackies so if you're someone that doesn't like the whole like knitted co-op vibe and you don't like trackies or cycle shorts or anything like that this is definitely a great one it has pockets that is great but yeah the zara shirt i definitely prefer over this one whilst we're on funky shirts i couldn't not pick this up it's a really lovely silky shirt but like in lovely autumnal colors it has tigers on it and i feel like it still has like a summery vibe to it it's a perfect summer to autumn transitional piece I picked this up in a size medium. Both of the Zara silky shirts were $25.99, which is not bad. This, I think, would just look so cute with white linen shorts, but also would look so good with black leather trousers as with the other Zara shirt. To be honest, even the Mango shirt as well, they would all look so great with like black leather trousers, black leather joggers, my Zara leather joggers. I'll be cracking those out again this year. You guys know I love them. All right, guys, what do we think? I am very undecided on this one. 
This, I feel like, reminds me just a little bit too much of 2017 when Zara were doing the pink silky shirt with the sausage dogs on. It's not necessarily a style moment that I want to remember. I don't know. It was very cutesy. So yeah, it reminds me a little bit too much of that. I've paired it with my Zara leather trousers once again, but also my Chloe sandals because they have a little bit of like a tan in them. They've got a little bit of black a little bit of white, basically all of the colours that are in the shirt. So I think everything in this outfit works really well together, but I just, I am unsure. But it is a lovely piece, I think, in terms of the silk shirts, Zara are winning it. But let me know what you think. Do I keep? Do I return? Do we like this outfit? Is it done? I think it's a bit done, personally. You could also unbutton it and have it a bit more like off-shoulder if you wanted something that's a little bit more of a relaxed vibe. I know I personally don't love a shirt kind of vibe, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Now, in terms of basics, Mango was not it for me in terms of basics. Zara won, Zara always wins. I have this, this is from Zara. All of my bodies are from Zara. They are the best, like the most interesting, the most affordable. I love the fit of them, the structure. They just fit really, really beautifully. For a high street piece, I cannot fault them. I wanted to pick this one up because it's just a lovely little nude color in a square neck cut and I just think it is so cute. I picked up in a size small and it was 25. 99. I love it so much. That colour is gorgeous. I love this body. Definitely needs a bra with it, 100%. I will link the bra that I would normally wear with one of these in the info box below for you guys. But I just love Zara Basics. They are the best. This colour is gorgeous. I really like the cut of it. It's much more reserved than some of the others I've been wearing recently that kind of come more down to about here. The back is lovely. I just love Zara Basic. They do the best, best basics. And they're always really, really affordable as well. It's definitely one of the things that I think Zara have become so great at. They've always been great at, but I feel like the past year they've really come into their own with it and I just absolutely love it. And outfits like this are like the bread and butter of my wardrobe and they are basically all from Zara. So yeah, I can't fault them on this aspect. Like I said, mango, like I had nothing like that that I could find that I liked. So Zara definitely winning there. I also picked up this knitted midi skirt, which I'm very, very excited to have in my wardrobe for the summer to autumn transitional time. Even throughout autumn and winter, I would get so much wear out of this. It's basically a bodycon midi skirt and it's almost like a wrap. So it's got kind of like a slit up the front and I just think it's really cool and it will work really nicely with black bodies for summer to autumn and then with a black knit over the top going from autumn through to winter and will look really cool with like leather jackets and stuff like that so just a really nice easy basic piece um, for the upcoming months. So this is the knitted skirt I feel like it's going to be really difficult to show you the detail on this it's really really hard to show detail on items that are black but as you can see it's like a ribbed knit it's got this kind of like fold over at the front but it doesn't have like a full slit so there's nothing that's really like on show i think this would be a great one for if you wanted like a nice midi skirt for work in like autumn winter times this would be amazing i'm wearing it with the classic zara body i think the two of these together you cannot go wrong this would look great with a leather jacket over the top in autumn winter times you could throw a coat on over the top of it during winter like a trench coat i think would be really really nice like i said earlier a nice like slouchy black knit it's high-waisted so you can get that knit kind of tucked in and at a point where it just still gives you a little bit of shape. I'm wearing it with sliders now, but I think going into autumn, winter, you could wear it with so many different types of shoes. You could wear it with trainers. I wear it with maybe some like lace up chunky boots. I think that could be quite cool. If you're a fan of ankle boots, you could pop some of those on with this. It's a very easy versatile piece for your autumn wardrobe. So yeah, this is a winner for me. Now at the time of ordering this, I would definitely say that Zara had a much better summer to autumn stock range than mango mango is definitely still stuck in summer vibes this was a couple of weeks ago so things obviously changed literally overnight the only thing i picked up from mango that felt particularly autumnal was the first jacket that you will have seen so with that in mind i think zara definitely wins it when it comes to like autumnal stock and it comes in really really nice and early however if you're going on a late holiday i would say that mango is great because it still has so much of its summer stock its stock levels in general were much higher zara had a lot of things that i would put in my basket and then come back two minutes later and it would be out of stock and then a lot of items that you click on and they're not actually in stock yet and you have to click 
to be notified and I feel like they do that on purpose. So with Zara you never really know what you're gonna get but Mango definitely had more summer stock and a lot more of it in stock I found. I really liked the fact that they had this little cord. It's kind of almost like a linen vibe but I don't think it's actually linen. I will confirm. Everything will be linked in the info box below. I got the bottoms of these in a size small and the top in a large because actually this is one of the items where the stock was not so great but I really really wanted this cord and actually I think that it would work really nicely like nice and floaty and it wouldn't really look wrong in the outfit if the top's like tucked in it's fine. So yeah, I'm excited to try this little cord on. I thought it'd be really nice for like when I'm around the house, like we're still gonna get some warm days between now and October. And this is something that I would keep and store away for future summers, future holidays, all of that kind of thing. It's very timeless, nice, easy piece. Oh my gosh, I actually love this. This top is great. It's double lined at the front, but not at the back. So you get this like little sheer kind of vibe running through the back, which I think is really, really lovely. But on the front, it's fairly like, well covered i really love that the trousers are such a great length if you're short you can wear them high-waisted and they will come down to round about your ankles they're like perfect trousery length you can wear them a little bit lower as well if you want them just that little bit longer and if you are taller you could either wear them lower down to have a similar effect or they'd be more of a clot which i still think is so great this is such a great little set. I really, really like it. Just popped my Chloe sandals on with it just to give a little bit of summery footwear vibes. But yeah, this is so, so great. I wish that I'd been able to get this video up a week ago, but unfortunately my garden was being dug up. But I really wish I could have showed you this just a little bit sooner in the summer. But this is definitely a set that I would highly recommend. I think it's gorgeous, timeless, and definitely something that you could wear for summers and summers to come. Now, one thing I would say that Mango did really well on is its accessories. Jewelry in particular, like Zara had great jewelry and I actually did pick something up, but this necklace was actually identical to one that was on Zara and it was out of stock. And I basically found it I think potentially it might have been cheaper and I think this is where the two brands being owned by the same kind of like top company I feel like you can sometimes find very similar things and this is one of those situations where it really really works in your favor because you can basically find the same thing that was out of stock on one website on another I love this necklace I thought it was so cute and I really wanted to try it out I don't have that much statement jewelry like I tend to wear either statement earrings or like a statement necklace and not really like mix too much up anymore but I thought this would be cool when I'm not wearing like earrings or anything like that and I just want something really nice and like simple but statement another thing that mango also did very well at is they do sunglasses chains and i always get asked about my sunglasses chains on instagram and even in my youtube videos they're actually from a brand called so shady and they're out of stock at the moment so it's a very annoying situation where it's like I, my answer is very unhelpful but mango have actually been doing some really gorgeous gorgeous sunglasses chain this one is really beautiful and they just have a really simple way of fixing onto your sunglasses they're so cute i just love the detail of this it's lovely i did pick up these earrings from zara though and i think they are so cute they're so pretty like a really lovely gold foil kind of statement earring i just think they're so gorgeous so very excited to try those on now one thing that both brands do very very well is their bag selection that are very much like designer inspired i've always loved zara's bags so you guys will know if you've been watching my channel or reading my blog for a really long time zara bags before i got into luxury bags were my absolute favorite i still buy them now i love them however i would absolutely say mango are killing it at the moment so they have this little kind of rattan wicker bag, which is basically a dupe for the, I think it's Loewe bags. The little basket bags that are around at the moment, Chloe are also doing something very similar. Basically, so many brands are just like really on this hype at the moment. This is very, very cute. It's got a little black pocket at the front. On the inside, it comes with like a little drawstring pouch to kind of like keep your things safe in. I think this is so sweet. And if you're really into that kind of like rattan, wicker bag kind of vibe you will love that so this is the little designer inspired wicker bag as you can see it works so well with this little cord that i have from mango i think these two make the perfect like timeless summer holiday outfit and if you are looking for that like designer bag inspired look then i would definitely check mango out because their bag selection is great at the moment but for me absolute standout in this situation has got to be the dior inspired book totes that they are doing i don't know how they're getting away with this to be honest i definitely don't think zara could get away with doing this if they had done this i think legal would be involved but this is just stunning i don't know if this is still in stock now i hope it is because this was an 
absolute gem. When I saw they were doing this, I basically raced to get it. This is what it looks like on the inside. It's a gorgeous stripy color. Dior have definitely done a book tote that is in a stripy texture. So they haven't picked stripy texture pattern. So they haven't picked one of the most common ones. I mean, if they did this in like the palm print that is currently out at the moment, I think there would be a scrap in stores and in the race for people to get their hands on this if it came in the palm print. So Mango, if you're watching this, please bring it out in more prints and uh, textures and colors because I will be so here for it. But I really, really like this. This is a gorgeous alternative to the book totes and I just love it. I just think it's gorgeous. It's definitely more of a summer vibe than a winter vibe, but I think it is such a great bag shape to have in your wardrobe. I definitely have loved owning bigger bags and using bigger bags this year. It's been the first year that I've really invested more in like tote bags and real bags that you can carry everything around in. And I highly recommend it. It's changed my life. It has actually made my life so much easier than carrying around these silly medium sized bags. So this is where Mango really really want it for me and no other high street retailers have been doing anything like this so i think they have absolutely smashed it with this because it's such a great bag style and it's just nice for everyone to be able to get their hands on something like it because it's really really lovely this tote bag is literally so cute literally cutest bag in the whole world love it and finally we just have a little jacket from zara which i actually missed out on showing you at the beginning but this is one that i love so much because i've actually had a jacket like this on my mood boards for autumn winter for so long now and i'm really excited to style this up i can see it being worn with like a nude midi dress and then maybe like biker boots as we get into winter and things get a little bit like colder but until then it would look great with like a pair of birkenstocks or sliders and that kind of thing so basically a really kind of like rough tough shoe that kind of vibe i'm hoping my vision comes to life in like a really good way and not in a this was a mistake kind of way yeah i thought this was gorgeous i picked it up in a size medium and it was 49.99 this is the white jacket i love this i feel like maybe i'm just not a pattern kind of person maybe it's just all in my brain and it's just a bit too busy and overwhelms me but i definitely think this is so much cuter i love it with the midi dress i think it works so so nicely i've popped it on with my black sliders just for a little bit more of an edge and i think this would look so cool with like my kind of like really slim dior sunglasses that are all black and then a low tight ponytail i think it would just make this look really edgy and i love that and i think this would also look really cool with my leather trousers and a body as well and like a pair of white trainers i feel like i can definitely work with this kind of like shirt jacket a lot more it's nice and relaxed and slouchy it's got a little bit of texture on it like almost like a tweed but it's like a like a zigzag i really really like that and i definitely like it with the midi dress and i think it would look so great with some chunky lace-up boots for autumn so definitely keep an eye out for me wearing that because i'm in love with this it's so great definitely something that looks quite girly on the outset but that you could definitely toughen up and i'm really into that it's cute so those are all the items i will definitely say that i prefer and i don't know if this is like a real marmite kind of statement but i'm going to be bold here i actually prefer the shopping experience on zara to the shopping experience on mango I just find I don't love things when I see them on Mango at all. I know both of the websites kind of photograph things in very interesting ways. Zara definitely being the more rogue of the two, like the shopping experience on there is just weird. There's women standing on top of their cookers. I know, I know that was locked down and they're not doing that anymore, but that was so funny. I loved it. I actually loved it. But yeah, the shopping experience on both is weird as hell, but I actually prefer the shopping experience on Zara. I find it easier to find things that I like. I find there's more variety, but like I said, the stock levels on Mango are definitely better. So I'm gonna put my official final verdict on screen, but let me know in the comments who you think the actual winner should have been. We'll tally all your votes up to and get a final verdict on this. We'll see if everyone agrees. I can't wait. But yeah, I am genuinely interested to see who you guys love more out of the two. Are you a Mango girl? Are you a Zara girl? Let me know in the comments below. I think we just know that really I am a Zara girl through and through. I love a bit of Mango and I definitely will pop back in onto the website when their autumn stock starts coming through because there will be no doubt some absolute gems. And like I've said in previous videos, they do tend to bring some similar things back. So if you are a big fan of my cream, like oversized knitted cardigan, definitely check out Mango in the autumn because they will 100% do something like that. They do the best like knitted midi dresses, that kind of thing. They've done some great bikinis this 
summer as well. One of my favorite bikinis from this summer was from Mango and I love it. I lived in it. But yeah, anyway, I've chatted for a long time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know if you would like to see, why does my voice keep breaking? <laughs> Let me know if you would like to see more of these videos and which brands, because obviously like Zara versus Mango, I picked them because they are kind of like sister-ish companies. I don't know if that's like an official thing, but that's how I think of it in my head. But yeah, let me know what you think, what kind of brands you would like to see paired together, whether you'd like to see very expensive and very inexpensive or different themes of like clothing. Let me know your thoughts. I am all is. But anyway, I'm going to head off now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye.